Ibury, September 1996, and a game that was eagerly anticipated. Sheffield Wednesday arrived in terrific form and knew that victory would take them to the top of the table. Arsenal had history on their side, though. They hadn't lost at home to the Owls for 34 years. Arsene Wenger was poised to take over as manager. Pat Rice selected the team in his absence. Dennis Bergkamp was out with a hamstring tear, while new signing Patrick Vieira started on the bench. Exciting times for David Pleat. His side had made a dream start to their FA Premier League campaign, and he had just one selection dilemma. Richie Humphreys, who'd scored three goals in his last four games, was out through injury. Mark Pembridge replaced him. At Highbury for us, Paul Dempsey. Sheffield Wednesday, the form side, get us underway, away from home. Parra got his foot in early. Reggie Blinker returned it. Peter Atherton stepped in. Wednesday have been playing very bright, up-tempo football early season. And they've been taking the game to every opponent they've played so far. It's a side loaded down by David Pleat at the present time with attack-minded players. And there's the early proof as if it was needed. David Hurst still looking for his first of the season, but he's been leading the line well. And when he gets into a run of form and avoids injuries, this is a boy Hurst who can cause problems for the sharpest defenders. Given away by Parler to Pembridge, but right won it back. And Collins won it back again. Blinker, first real touch for Reggie Blinker. He's been playing superbly early season. That's not a bad ball either. Nolan, danger for Wednesday here. And Arsenal just about closed the door. Good burst from Ian Nolan. And Blinker had the weight on the pass absolutely right. His corner, Keown clear but not far. Collins made a mess of it. Gets another chance. That's a great ball from Wayne Collins. Atherton, what a lovely Sheffield Wednesday move. Hurst well policed by Martin Keown. Keown really alive to the danger here because at this point, Wednesday are favourites. Keown got back goal side just the right moment. Pembridge. Merson back to help carry the load and try to lead by example carried it just a shade too far Pembridge Wednesday with four ahead of the ball here almost reached Booth in fact it did almost battled his way through to Booth very strong this young boy from Huddersfield he's made a great start as well since his summer arrival Excellent start from Sheffield Wednesday. Keo to safety. And it's Blinker again from the other side. Wasn't missing by much from Stefanovic. Now, who does he jump up above? In fact, he steals a half a yard on Andy Linigan to get the header off. Hearts and just had a little tug at Stefanovic and it was well seen by Mike Reed, the referee. This is the man from Red Star Belgrade who took his time to settle, it's fair to say. But his playing CV up to the time he arrived at Sheffield was top quality and he's beginning to prove it now. Walker stepped up. Linigan stepped out. Right put his foot in, Merson trying to get the better of Walker, got a shot off well and almost a wry smile because he almost caught Kevin Pressman napping but not quite
He's very alert here, Merson. Collins down to Atherton. Not, uh, laid off by Booth, but Dixon won it back for Arsenal. Stefanovic with Hartson. Dixon. Hartson. Did well. This is Dixon. Couldn't keep the shot down, and with due respect to uh, a very nice young man, well, he's not so young anymore in football terms, but with due respect to Lee Dixon, uh, finishing has never been one of his strengths. Right, just got part of his head to it, did well. Winterburn, right again. Walker's tracking him. That's a terrible tackle from Des Walker. Certain yellow card, and at the expense of taking a liberty, I suggest that Des Walker's protest was because he feared the possibility of a red card then. Blinker needs help. Ian Wright, would you believe, backtracking with him. Good breakout from the Dutchman. Hurst. Winterburn clear. Blinker again. That's another good ball from Reggie Blinker. Pembridge. Warning signs are here for Arsenal, certainly. Wednesday having their best spell and looking very impressive. Fell into the path of Booth and off the post. That's the touch I warned you about. Big and strong he may be, but this is a young boy with a real sense of where the goal is and a lovely one-touch finish from Andy Booth. Brings an end to Sheffield Wednesday's sustained spell of pressure. Arsenal can't say they weren't warned. Now another at the veteran stage, Walker. But uh, one thing he has not lost is his physical pace over the ground, and he'll need that against Wright tonight. Hartson. Stefanovic tried to stop him turning and did half of that job you would say Hartson still got the shot off but Stefanovic never really lost by Hartson Hartson Merson still Merson did almost everything right Wednesday were caught defending far up the field here. Mercer will know he should have hit the target from this position. But a bold attempt to change things around here by Arsenal. Here come Wednesday. Game opening up now really well. Bold, resolute, concedes the corner. Patrick Vieira from AC Milan. Big and strong. And after a couple of appearances in the reserves, Arsenal hope he's going to prove his fitness here now. And he's got a long way to go in this game. Better part of an hour. Pressure not cleared. Oh, what a letter for Arsenal, David Hurst. They took so long to clear the corner. It was begging trouble. 
and Treble arrived with Hurst left foot. What a big, big let off for Arsenal. Hartson just made a shield for Merson. Wednesday are being pinned back now by Arsenal. This is Dixon. Blinker knocked him to the ground. That must be a free kick. Good decision from Reid. Merson with the free kick. Bold it was. And how did it stay out from Martin Keown? Bold wins the first one, or at least the majority of the header is his. And Keown well, was blocked, in fact, by Collins. So that goes down as fine last ditch defending for Sheffield Wednesday. But Martin Keown was a hot, hot favourite. We're into injury time. There'll be a little bit of this. Well brought down by Hurst. Much more comfortable in his left boot. Whittingham. Arsenal got bodies in the way when they needed to. But that was a clear example, perhaps, of how much more comfortable David Hurst is and what a good touch he does have on his left foot. Good defending from Arsenal. Whittingham. Then against the first defender. Wednesday have a corner. So they've managed to survive Arsenal's grandstand finish to the first half. Now... Wednesday have perhaps the opportunity to extend their lead. Pembridge in no rush whatsoever. Too long. Dixon again gives it away to Blinker. That was a good strike from Reggie Blinker. It was the quality in this first half. Stefanovic, who's looked quality in this first half. Vieira, we haven't seen quite so much of him, but he looks quality too. Nolan. Still play goes on in this first period. We've played a couple of minutes. Mike Reed's had a look at the watch. And that does bring it to a halt. Non-stop endeavour from both sides. One quality finish from Andy Booth, his third of the season. At half-time, it is Arsenal nil, Sheffield Wednesday one. It's Arsenal who get us underway in the second period from left to right. Lots of reasons for them to be hopeful at half-time, certainly. Vieira just showed a bit too much of it to Hurst for a moment. But Keown was on hand to tidy up. Clap down to Vieira. And that's loose from Vieira. But David Pleat down to the dugout for the second half as is his wont. Hartson with space, thought about the shot, lined one up, oh, he's struck with real venom as well, but Pressman is so good on the deck, gets down really quickly,
bad mistake by Blinker and a word of admonishment there from uh, Des Walker. Whittingham for Wednesday to Hurst. Space for Stevie Nicol. Good ball in two from Nicol. Sheffield Wednesday had three men in the box again. That's into a dangerous area. Collins didn't really clear his lines. More trouble. And a splendidly struck equaliser from David Platt. Virtually his first meaningful touch of this second half. Sloppy defending cost Sheffield Wednesday dear here. First up, it should have been cleared then. And then they allowed Hartson to screw it back so well. And Platt picked out his first of the new season to draw Arsenal level at one apiece. Now, can Wednesday show the resolution they're going to have to need here? Nearly two inside a minute for Platt. How well they fought for it, and then how good the quality was from Winterburn to set up David Platt. But that's a let off for Sheffield Wednesday. They've got to buckle down here and quickly. Another mistake. This time it's Paul Merson. He's inside the last defender and the box. That's a penalty. Des Walker penalised. Sheffield Wednesday are buckling here at Highbury. And Arsenal have turned this game around. Des Walker goes off for the professional foul. A second yellow card offence judged by Mike Reid here. Sheffield Wednesday are down to ten men. And if Ian Wright can move to within two of Arsenal's post-war goal-scoring record. Sheffield Wednesday will be behind in this game for the first time. Right against Pressman. You can guess the rest. Ian Wright's fourth of the season. Arsenal in front. Sixty-two minutes gone and Sheffield Wednesday really have got their backs up against it here now. Vieira's ball right on side. Brave keeping from Pressman, but he hasn't got the ball. As Wright screwed it in, hit the bar. That was fantastic from Ian Wright. Absolutely fantastic from such an angle. Pressman made a swift and good decision to get out to this. Break of the ball favours right. Watch this. How unfortunate. A third goal surely would kill off Wednesday's hopes. Vieira just dwelt on it a little long. No one was across to cover. Winterburn. Not cleared. Merson. Vieira once more. Platt. Dixon's cross is a good one. Pits and pieces. Dispatched by Ian Wright. And that will surely give Arsenal the three points. Suddenly, Arsenal players have been galloping into space on the fringe of the box. Merson battled for Wright, and Wright did the rest. 
on 79 minutes Ian Wright gets his second of the game Maybe more goals as well. Merson. Cambridge. To Trustful. That's the keepers. David Pleat played what uh, tactical aces he could by bringing in Trustful and Oaks. But uh, there were straws in the wind in this game, you feel. Oaks battle for the corner with Bold. Hartson cleared his lines to right. Arrogantly done by Wright. Vieira's on here. Is this the moment to wrap it all up? Vieira, David Platt. Brilliant save from Pressman. Frankly, it could have been six in this second half, but for Kevin Pressman. Proving yet again what an outstanding shot stopper this boy is. Vieira's a hot favourite in the first place, but very aware of what was going on around him. You'd back flat every time in those positions. But how well the keeper does to get across. Excellent stop. Well, David Platt, one of the most established Arsenal stars, maybe among those who feel his place long term would be most threatened by the arrival of Vieira. Of course, Vieira was handpicked by Arsene Wenger. We are reliably informed. And with an eye to the future, it may be that. Wenger sees Vieira as one of those that can help bring this average age down in the Arsenal side and inject new quality into it. The old-timers are doing all right here, though. Merson. Nigel Winterburn, will he shoot himself? Ian Wright wraps it all up with a piece of history and another hat-trick in what is a superb career. Well, they're simply queuing up, but everybody takes second place in the queue at Arsenal when Ian Wright is in the box. This is Wright's territory. He's the governor in these areas. Platt couldn't reach it. And on the 90th minute, the wave to the crowd says it all. It means so much to Wright to do what he has done here. The hat-trick's wonderful. And to go into the record books along with the all-time great Arsenal goal scorers means more than money could ever buy to Ian Wright. Like I said, Lee Dixon's not a noted goal scorer. But this man is most certainly. Had his problems with virtually every manager he's ever played for at Arsenal. George Graham, Stuart Houston. But um, a phenomenal competitor and a player who desperately wants to be successful. This is a night that Ian Wright will not forget. Well, he simply ran Sheffield Wednesday ragged at the back in this second period. A sad, torrid evening for Sheffield Wednesday, it's turned out. And Arsene Wenger gets the message from this Arsenal group of players. Plus a change, 
C'est plus la même chose. Arsenal comfortable winners by four goals to one.